In this how-to video, we're going to show you how to use Remote Geo Systems Line Vision Desktop Ultimate Edition to rapidly generate a report from georeferenced video files. Now, the data set we're going to use for this demonstration uh, comes from the GeoDVR or Geospatial Digital Video Recorder, also from Remote Geo Systems. Uh, this digital video recorder allows you to record uh, multiple video streams at once and uh, apply GPS coordinates continuously to those uh, video files as they're being recorded. Um, and in this case, we're actually going to have multiple feeds. Um, in this case, it's going to be from an infrared camera, a color HD camera, as well as a um, UV or Corona camera. Uh, these are typically on power line inspection cameras, um, but you might also see multi-channel gimbals um, in other scenarios as well as um, uh, fixed mount um, video capture uh, data collection missions. Uh, but again, focusing kind of on a power line gimbal for the sake of this demonstration. And also when these multiple uh, video feeds are being recorded, uh, the operator has the option of snapping a waypoint image um, when they see like a point of interest and what that does is they hit this blue button if you will or uh, the touchscreen monitor and that snaps an image out of all the videos that are being recorded and geotags that image so that's kind of key to part of what we're going to demonstrate here today so let's go ahead and jump right into the line vision desktop ultimate software okay here we are and we're first going to go up to file open multiple videos recorded at the same time and here we select the video files we're going to use for this demonstration uh, first thing I'm going to select this one this will be our color and we say open next one I believe will be our UV and this last one will be the infrared if I'm not mistaken and we select OK now immediately we have all three videos playing and we have our continuous track on the map um, with our uh, yellow uh, platform position marker here showing you, you know, where that video platform was as it was recording. Here we also see uh, the purple push pins um, indicating where um, a waypoint point of interest was clicked during the flight and um, images were captured at that time. Um, so real quickly we've got our video here. Let's go ahead and just pause this um, as we go about generating our report. So right now, just with this video and the waypoint image snaps, this is really all we need at a very basic level to go ahead and uh, create a report. So uh, now that we got this loaded, we're just going to go up here to Advanced and select Generate Report. It gives us two options. Uh, we can choose by waypoints or by channels. Um, again, this data set has multiple channels. Uh, so we've got the all the uh, HD, all the uh, UV or Corona and all the infrared. Um, so if we were to do by waypoints, um, we well excuse me, if we were to do by channels, we would have all those cameras grouped together. If we did it by waypoints, it would be um, you know the waypoints captured from all three cameras at once. So let's just go ahead and select that option for right now, and I think you'll see what I mean. Uh, here we have an option if we wish we can fin uh, fill in some information about um, perhaps you know who we are if we're uh, serving a client um, you know if we're a vendor we can put in the, our name um, the project name prepared for some somebody by someone uh, so on and so forth and we can also do a Microsoft Word and Excel report so let's go ahead and do that so we just simply click generate report and we'll see here what's happening in Microsoft Word is it's creating a um, quick little uh, report here with everything nicely formatted. So on the front page uh, we have our uh, map extent of the data collection mission. Uh, it's a Word document here. We just had some uh, default fields if you wanted to put in weather conditions or any other kind of notes. Uh, obviously this is a Word doc at this point so you can uh, customize it as you will. Put your own formatting and um, logos and all sorts of things on there that you'd do in any other Word document. But what we've done is we've made it real easy here. So um, on the second page we see a summary of the video segment. Uh, in this case we only did have one video segment but we've got uh, the three different um, uh, camera feeds represented here um, in terms of you know, uh, channel 3, channel 4, and I guess this was channel 0 but either way, oh, more on that later. Um, 
so we got our three three video feeds from the camera. Um, we have a single companion file name, and and you can read this and and go through what it says. But just some summary information on on the the video segment here. Now we get into uh, the still images captured from the video waypoints. Um, and again, it tells you that these were captured in mission um, by the operator. Um, this was from the first video segment, and we selected that option of uh, group by waypoints. So here's our HD channel. Uh, here on the next page, we have our UV channel, and then uh, thirdly, our IR channel, and then we repeat. Now, something else you might see here, um, some of our GeoDVRs come equipped with uh, what we call uh, waypoint keywords, and that allows you to predefine uh, some terminology that when you're in mission and you're using a touchscreen monitor, uh, you can hit the drop waypoint button and then it'll ask you if you'd like to associate one of these keywords or descriptions uh, that you've predefined prior to your flight and associate with that waypoint. So that's what we're seeing here. Um, hotspot, very bad, replace bolt. This is just a demo um, description here. Um, probably not really happening in that photo, but um, just to, to illustrate what that is about. And of course, you could fill that out in the line vision software as well, and that would per, um, populate into this uh, if you wanted. Um, or you could come in here and change it at that point. So, But again, what we're doing is we're taking the geotag photos and nicely grouping them with some summary information for you here. All right, so let's also go look at the Excel version of this. And really, Pretty much the same thing, just in Excel if you, you know, needed it in that format to do something with. All right, so I'm going to actually close both of these. We don't need them. But that's how you can really quickly create a report uh, in just a matter of seconds from GeoDVR data sets. Now, let's go add on to this a little bit. Um, I'm going to add another segment. So, again, open multiple videos recorded at the same time. And let's go back to there. Now I'm going to grab this other segment that happened actually right before the one we just loaded. So there's my first video, second video, and third video. Select OK. And now we've got, um, well, this is technically the first segment. This is the, the second segment, but this is the one we loaded first. Anyhow. Uh, we only have one waypoint capture from over here, and let's just uh, give this a little bit more uh, data types here. Um, I'm actually going to go grab some photos that were from a very different area of the country, but they'll serve our purposes for this demonstration. So we're going to also open some high resolution photos captured from a Nikon camera. And we'll just go grab two or three of these. It takes a minute for them to come on in because they are quite large. Uh, but now we see we've got our high resolution photos here in addition to the videos. Okay. Um, one other thing we're going to do here as well, um, we're going to go back to one of these videos and let's just capture a still image from here. Um, we have this image editor once we've clicked that little camera button. So we're, we're now after the mission using line vision to capture a still image uh, w while looking at the video in this environment, um, which differs from the waypoint capture and mission or adding high resolution photos after the fact. So I uh, just want to distinguish that. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just um, save and add this to a geo project that we're working on here uh, in the spirit of time. But if we wanted, we could come in here, edit the photo, um, mark it up with text, drawings, whatever. So we'll just go ahead and click save and that'll work. Okay, so uh, effectively three different types of data sets we now have in here. We have uh, two videos, segments. Um, each one of the segments does have uh, three video feeds at the same time captured. Uh, we've got a couple, 
uh, three high resolution still photos here captured uh, from an icon camera in this case. And then uh, we have an uh, image that was captured from one of the video feeds after the fact in line vision. So with all these data sets, let's go ahead and now run our report again and see what we get. So let's go up to advanced, generate report. Uh, we'll, we'll do waypoints again. And again, all that information there. Sure, let's do a Excel as well. And let's generate this new report. And you'll see something immediately different here. Um, what it's showing the extent of where the different assets are in the report. Um, and as I mentioned, uh, the photos we brought in are in a very different part of the United States than the than the video was. So you'll you'll see the video kind of on the edge of Tulsa, Oklahoma here, and then. Um, it looks like the, the photos were, were somewhere in eastern Pennsylvania there. Uh, so anyway, that's why that looks a little bit different. In, in most normal cases, your, your photos will be right where your video uh, data collection happened, I would assume anyway. Um, perhaps there's some cases where that would not. But here's, here's what we want to show now. So, you know, again, we have the segment one uh, and then all the information related to that. But then we have the video summary for segment two and all the channels here. So again, just telling us more information on where exactly this came from. Now, here's where it changes a little bit. Uh, it also will tell you if the still image was captured from the video post survey, in which case that was. And also, it will tell us if the still images were from a high-resolution photo camera versus captured from the video. So just some additional information um, when we added that second video segment, we added some high-resolution photos, and then also captured um, a photo uh, from the video post-mission. And so, of course, we can save these Word docs or these Excel docs and name them whatever we want, and, um, and that's just a very quick way to very quickly um, create a report in line vision uh, when you've got some GeoDVR data. And this also also work without GeoDVR data. You'll just need to go in and, and snap the images or, or bring in your own photos, but the same same principle applies. We just use GeoDVR data here to kind of show you the multi-camera uh, scenario and um, doing the reporting by waypoints um, or channels if you wish. So we we'll, don't need to keep these for the sake of this demo, but that's how you create a report in just a few seconds using line vision and GeoDVR data.